G'day Hammerheads, welcome back to the bench and very special episode for you today because we are testing out the brand new Milwaukee Compact M18 Rotary Hammer, the 2908. And because so many of you asked in the comments of my last video, we are going to be comparing directly to the M12 version as well, the 2508. Let's see how they go. All right, so just looking at these side by side, you can tell that they are literally a 12 volt and 18 volt version of the same tool. And that's in contrast to the previous generations. So the M18 uh, last generation, that is a first gen tool. It never got a brushless version or a fuel version or anything like that. The M12, this is a second generation tool. There was a brushed version of this guy first. And for whatever reason, Milwaukee was just like, yeah, let's just leave this one for, you know, 12, 13 years or whatever before we upgrade it. So these are the tools that these guys have replaced. The M12 is super, super popular. It's probably the most common tiny rotary hammer on the market. This guy, yeah, not that common at all. Really, really pretty rare to see that. But back to the new guys, uh, let's just quickly run through their features. I'll whack batteries in so we can see them all. Now, first off, so up the front, they both got these very nice lights. They both got this brand new, really low profile chuck as well. Milwaukee have really tried to make these tools as compact as possible, starting with just totally minimizing the amount of space that the chuck takes up. They are both three mode as well. So they've got hammer only mode. And that's bloody awesome. So Milwaukee does actually listen to their customers, which is great. I know they are actually on the Milwaukee subreddit and they're probably watching other places too. But, you know, whenever a tiny rotary hammer would come out from Makita or whoever, everyone would always say, does it have a chipping mode? And the manufacturers are like, well, no, it's only, you know, 1.2 joules of impact or something. You can't break concrete with that. And no, you're not gonna be breaking up huge amounts of concrete with this, but it is super handy to have that on there. And I will show you later on what this guy looks like breaking up some concrete, but for now, let's just keep going with the features. So they both got a handy, super handy belt hook. Uh, that's a really nice slim one that you can just flick up with your thumb. For some reason, the hook on the 18 is a little bit bent. They're not actually the exact same part. Um, so just be aware of that. Personally, I just take them off. I don't use them myself. Uh, you can just unscrew them. But again, nice to have, nice design. Milwaukee is really listening to their customers. They're really going for your height access and confined space kind of work with this. They both got vibration dampening handles. The 18 actually has the auto stop. So that's the motion sensor, which cuts the power if your bit binds up. Very nice. M12 does not have that. And then the other thing the M12 does not have is dust extractor compatibility. So you've still got other options for your dust extraction, but the M18 actually does have a dedicated onboard dust extractor. I haven't tested it. Personally, I hate those things. And check out this video to see why. And then feature-wise, that is about it. But you can see that the M12 is nice and compact within its footprint with the, the bigger battery. The M18, I think with the dust extractor on there, it sits better with the bigger battery, but, but Milwaukee is really pushing this being used with the uh, three amp high output battery. So I don't have one of those, but same size as this one. So you can see that the M18 is really designed to be run with these single row batteries. So it's nice and flat like that. Uh, and then if we see how much of a difference that battery on there makes, M18 is about oh, 20 mil, just under an inch longer with one of the smaller batteries on there. Now for the testing that you're gonna see in a second, I actually use the six amp hour. Obviously, if you put a bigger battery on there, you'll be sacrificing uh, some of your compactness, but hey, for performance testing, it is good to have a, a higher output battery on there, just so we know, you know, she's not running out of juice. All right, and let's look at the specs. So here are our two stars of this show in bold. Two model numbers on the M12. This horrible long one is what they ended up calling it in Australia. Got to say, guys, I hate that. I like, I really like the old model numbers we get, like M18FH, M18 Fuel Hammer. Makes perfect sense, easy to remember. And now we are getting this ridiculous long thing. So uh, in a couple of months when this is out in Australia, that'll probably be the M18FH 
AC160, but 2908 for now. Price, the M12 is 399 here in Australia, but 229 USD, and only 50 bucks more for the M12. That'll probably be about 450 Australian dollars when it comes out. Weight, very, very similar weight. I was actually surprised putting them on my scale, only about 50 grams difference between these two without the batteries. Capacity, 16 millimeters or 5 eighths which is pretty surprising because the impact energy is, well, really different actually. The M18 is 47% harder hitting. So interesting that they're rating these two as the same capacity. Really, you'd think this one is rated higher, like three quarters inch or 20 millimeters or so. Impact per minute, the M18 has 5,000 compared to 4,400. And how the hell are they doing that? Well, basically the RPM on the M18 is higher. So, you know, they're revving the motor higher, that means the hammer mechanism is going faster, we're getting more impact per minute, and it's hitting harder. So just by going by the specs Milwaukee has given you, you expect the M18 to actually drill 50-60% faster than the M12, which is a big difference, so we'll see how that goes in a second. Alright, so let's check those revs. Fourteen hundred on the money. Well, 15. So that there is really the secret to the higher impact force on the 18 volt. It's just revving faster. I'm 99% sure they have the exact same hammer mechanism inside there. It's just this one is swinging that hammer harder. Because after all, if you want to hit harder with your hammer, you just swing it faster. All right, so let's get drilling. So I'm just gonna run through a range of sizes. These are the blue tip Bosch experts. Of course, these are metric. I will put the inch size equivalent up on the screen for any of you guys up in inch land. And let's see how they go. So there you go guys, there's a little summary of those tests. Uh, all up across those different sizes, the M18 was sort of 40-ish to 50-ish percent faster than the M12, averaging 42% faster across the different sizes. So on paper, the M18 should be about 67% faster. We ended up with about 42%, still huge, huge improvement there. Now guys, when I was editing this video, I thought it you know, it'd be a real shame if we just did like a head-to-head -head with just one, a single round test, because that's basically what every other tool channel around does. And that's really something I wanted to change with this channel. So if you've seen my other videos, I've got this real big data set uh, that I've been generating for about three years, uh, comparing all the different rotary hammers on the market. But to do that, you need the same concrete, the exact same mix of concrete, not just the same kind of stuff, the same batch, because concrete, pretty variable. But unfortunately, all these blocks that I made um, about three years ago now, they're all used up. But I thought, you know, it's a real shame if we can't get these guys at least on one of those big graphs. So there's not very much meat on any of these blocks. I've got about a dozen and they're basically all completely knackered. But 
For the 8mm test, I think um, I should be able to get in around the edges. And then 12mm, which is the test that every single hammer gets, I think I might be able to get maybe one each. Uh, but anyway, let's see how we go. All right, in that eight millimeter speed drill with all the other compacts, how did they go? Okay, there's the M12 and there's the M18. We've actually got a new champion here. So this is interesting. The 2908 is actually drilling faster than that overhead drill. Uh, the overhead does have more impact force, so you'd think it does actually drill a bit faster. Maybe the built-in vacuum is slowing it down or something. But regardless, that is an awesome result from the 2908 being king of the compacts. You know, Milwaukee said it was going to be best in class. These guys are all basically uh, that same class. These are all the tiny compact rotary hammers that I've tested. Also a new champion of the 12 volts, but uh, you know, we already knew that from a, a previous video. There's a 12, that's a 12, that's a 12, that's a 12, that's a 12. Plus out of all of these compact hammers, um, it looks like we've only got one other three mode hammer in here and that is the excellent DHR 182 from Makita the teal terrier so Milwaukee is really going to be grabbing some market share with this pretty low hanging fruit actually just sticking the chipping mode on these little guys they are already getting a leg up on all the other competitors Alrighty, so how do these guys go in this massive data set? Alright, there's one, and there's the other. So, and that's the end there. Okay, so not super surprising because these are pretty small hammers in the grand scheme of things. But if we look at the M12 here, we will see that of course it is in front of all the other 12 volts. That's basically all these hammers back here. And once again, about 40% faster than the M12 comes the M18. So 11 seconds, pretty damn respectable given it is only a small hammer and it is squarely among the kind of 22 millimeters, three quarter inch kind of size. So like that one, that one, that one, that one. Basically Milwaukee is saying it's best in class and yeah technically it is because the classes you know you can kind of just call it whatever you want and that could just be because Milwaukee wants to be able to say yeah this is the best in class so they're just basically making a bigger tool putting it in a smaller class or maybe like Hilti they're just sort of down rating it a bit because uh, basically they don't want you breaking them. Either way the 2908 is a real beauty and it's probably going to be my go-to hammer from now on well there you go guys i'm pretty stoked uh, that i could actually get these guys on that big data set using the exact same original blocks of concrete hopefully that's informative for you and uh meanwhile we had uh, a cyclone a few months ago and we're still kind of recovering from that but this is kind of the end of an era because this concrete this is finite uh i made it last about three years and uh basically it's all gone now i still do have some unpublished tests uh so in future videos Videos I still will be able to add to that big data set but really guys this is the end of an era for this channel uh, because these concrete blocks once they're gone they're gone and really I just wanted to make a, like a long-term data set because new tools are coming out all the time but anyway if you are in SEQ and you've got a few square meters of concrete or you know some old barriers or something like that uh, that you don't mind me poking a whole bunch of holes in drop us a comment I would love to collaborate and uh, you know we'll see what we can do anyway back to these hands on the bench bloody hell what an absolutely huge difference there so M18 and some of those tests drilling basically twice as fast as the M12. So the main advantage of the M18 is it's got the higher RPM and it's got the higher impact force. So it's hitting harder and it's hitting faster. So obviously she's going to drill faster too. But the 18 volts also has more motor power or more torque. Don't know if you noticed, but if we take a look at the first one, the 6 mil again, So you often get that kind of bogging down when you've got a really small bit. They just block up with dust really bad. And, you know, I'm doing a speed test, so I'm not going to just pull the dust out. But obviously, that's what you would do in the field. So having more power on the motor also makes a big, big difference there. Really impressive stuff from the, from the M18 there.
All right, so let's do a bit of chipping. Set that to hammer only mode, whack in a 20 mil flat chisel, and basically just try and break up a bit of concrete too. So I couldn't really time that test like accurately, but pretty obvious, the M18, massive, massive advantage there. She hits about 50% harder and also hits faster too. So obviously she's gonna be breaking up concrete with the chisel a lot better. All right, so there you go, Hammerheads. Massive, massive difference. If you're trying to decide between these two, honestly, I would go the M18 because you're getting twice the tool for not that much more money. If weight is a real issue for you, obviously stick, for the, stick with the smaller one. But you know, if you wanna keep the weight down as well, you can always just go a smaller battery. There's really not much difference in terms of the bare tools. Uh, it's gonna be the batteries that are gonna be making the difference for you in terms of weight. So the M18, she's just looking like outstanding value. Thanks to Milwaukee for you know listening to your customers and finally upgrading the compact M18 hammer. This little thing is an absolute killer. Now this one is not actually out in Australia yet. It'll probably be another six months or so. So I actually ordered this from uh, Acme Tools and Machinery up in Ontario, Canada. Thanks to those guys for doing international shipping. Not a lot of tool places will do that. And each of these guys did actually cost me about two months of ad revenue from this channel. So if you want to help us out there, feel free to chip in in the Patreon or whatever. Otherwise, just hit subscribe and uh, let the algorithm do its work. So anyway, thanks for watching, Hammerheads. Uh, until next time, say hello to my little friends. <laughs> <laughs>